Here, let's take a look at some examples in the ratios and proportions uh, part of the module in our uh, E1 lesson. Uh, we've got a word problem right off the bat. The bonsai bald cypress tree standing 15 inches tall is a small version of a full-size tree. A Florida bald cypress tree called the Senator stands 118 feet tall. What's the ratio of the height of the bonsai tree to the height of the senator. So we wanna compare the smaller tree to the larger tree. So I'm gonna use a fraction because that's the way I like to write my ratios. So there's my fraction bar. I'm gonna put the height of the smaller tree on top and it's 15 inches. The height of the larger tree would go on the denominator. That's 118 feet. Now I cannot use this ratio because the units aren't the same. I need the units to be the same. So let's go ahead and change that into inches. So we're gonna leave 15 inches up here. We're gonna take our 118 feet and multiply it by 12 inches to change feet into inches. And that's 1416. And that's 118 feet written in inches. So once I have that, you can see that now I can use a ratio. Because a ratio, these will cancel, and I need to reduce my 15 over 14, 16. Uh, I believe I could probably divide by 3, maybe. Uh, yeah, 3 goes into 14, 16. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 14, 16 divided by 3 is 4. 72 and I can't reduce it anymore. So that's the ratio, the reduced ratio of the smaller bonsai tree to the larger real tree. In the second example, we have the lengths of the sides of a triangle are in the ratio three to five to six. The perimeter of the triangle is 98 centimeters. What's the length of the longest side? So really what you wanna think about is instead of thinking of this as three, five, and six, it's a ratio, so we want to actually multiply each of these by x. So I'm going to say 3x plus 5x plus 6x equals 98 centimeters. And now I can solve this equation for x. So I've got 3, 5, and 6. That's 8 and 6. That's 14x equals 98. If I divide both sides by 14, let's see what 98 divided by 14 is. 98 divided by 14 is 7. So that means x equals 7. You are not done with the problem because the answer is not 7. The question didn't ask for x. It asked for the length of the longest side. Well, the longest side would be the one where you have 6 times x. So we're going to take 6 and multiply it by 7 and six times seven is 42, and it's a word problem. We probably need to have a unit in it. This one doesn't because the unit canceled out. This one needs to be a unit of centimeters, and so there is the length of the longest side, 42 centimeters. Lastly, just a couple of cross multiplication problems. We will simply take x times five, and we write it as five x equals six times four, which is 24. Now don't write this as a fraction. Remember, it's this cross product equals the other cross product. So the fraction disappeared altogether. And so we'll divide now by five to get our final answer of x equals 24 over five. That could be written as a, as a decimal if you wanted to. This one, we're gonna write, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna write this way. We're gonna take nine times y, which is nine y, and three times y plus 4. Notice I put them in parentheses and then I have to distribute the 3. So 9y equals 3y plus 12. I'm going to solve by subtracting 3y from both sides. This side will become 6y. This side becomes 12. And last but not least, we divide by 6 and y equals 2. There is our solution for that particular proportion.